Here she is. SSR PF2 has landed. Just threw it on the stand. I took it out of the box. Just kind of threw it together. Nothing's tight right now. I'm going to obviously go through all the bolts and put Loctite on everything before I assemble it. But yeah, check this thing out. Not bad. Pretty clean for a 2005. Nothing's cracked on it. I already looked over the whole frame. I'm going to be doing tapered bearings instead of like those stock bearings, the ball bearings in there. Polish that up, obviously, but just like the BBR frame, how it's got the milling marks in it. This thing's pretty stout, too. I'm surprised. I had um, the BBR Super Pro swing arm before. I've actually had all the BBR swing arms in. It's pretty much the same exact thing. Knocked the thing right off. Reason I didn't get uh, BBR V1 is just because of the money. I don't have three thousand dollars to drop on a frame kit, but I could afford this, so that's what we're gonna go with. And uh, we'll throw some good parts on it, and it should be pretty sick. And at the end of the day, if I don't like the frame or for whatever reason something cracks on me, I can just take all the good parts on it and just throw that on a V1 frame. Just looking at it right now, I can tell you that it's definitely stronger than a stock frame and uh, I think I'll be fine with it everything's good the first thing that I did because it was driving me crazy was they had a foot peg if you look them up they have like a the foot peg mount has a bracket for the um, kickstand and the thing hangs way down so I took that off actually have it right here it's a pain to cut off too but so that usually goes on right there I cut that thing. Look, look how thick it is. Super thick steel. It took me forever to cut it, but now it looks good. Because when I'm going through turns, I don't want that thing hanging down and getting caught up. You know what I mean? I'm excited. If you guys want to see this finished up, give a uh, thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, and I'll get banging it out. I really need you guys to start um, sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel. I see a new, a lot of new people watch the videos and they're not subscribed so don't forget to hit that subscribe button get locked in and we'll get some more builds going I've got a few of you guys asking how the LXR is holding up and it's holding up just great I love this bike awesome build if you didn't see me ripping it at local track go check that out this thing absolutely hauls the mail get the Elka shock in there working good the linkage is awesome feels just like a big bike the old 450 there but yeah, this frame, now it's got 20.4 hours on it, so I'm loving it. The bike's really good. Big wheel is fun, and I have nothing bad to say about it. The 201cc is holding up just great, tearing it up. I won a couple races on this over the summer, so the only thing I get to do, obviously, is put graphics on it. But other than that, she's good to go. The BBR, don't look at that. I have, I have a whole other video coming with this. And uh, I'm going to be doing the TB Parts 212 Big Bore Kit I got from the guys over at T-Bolt USA. So I'm excited to do that. So we have a couple builds going. But yeah, this thing's looking sick. Can't wait. Start the build. Get on to a 50 chassis. I haven't been able to build any 50s. Everything's just been mid size, So it's going to be cool to have a 10-inch bike or a 10 and 12. Because we got the 14 in the front 12 in the rear on that bike 17 um, or 14 17 on the LXR and then this one will be 10 and 12 so I'll be able to tear up all the classes pretty excited about it so this is this little intro I figured I'd show you before I do anything to it obviously I already did one thing to it that's what made me pull up the phone and say you better get recording but yeah there she is so stay tuned for the next video we'll put this thing together I get a bunch of parts I'm waiting to come in and as soon as all the parts come in for this thing I'll start assembling it and make another video I think I'm gonna go ahead and polish up the frame thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not give this video a thumbs up